Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be checking out the two new characters that just hit the global version of Knight's Chronicle, and we got a celebration for the update. So these characters better be unique, you know? I'm just kidding, I can only do four summons, unfortunately. So, she is a summon. I'm guessing the other guy is... It's probably Avent. We also got this stuff and boost dungeons, rewards. Uh, okay, well then, this is gonna be interesting. I don't have Mary, so this should be. Inter Whoa, who's this dude? Wait, is he a um, holy knight? He looks, he looks dope as hell. Oh yeah, I I forgot I turn off my music when I'm streaming. When I'm streaming this game. Um, hold on. Let me just turn up the music again. There we go. And I'll take out my own music. What has Gilchat been up to? Oh, it tells you what everybody gets now. That's weird. Ah, congratulations to uh, Beef. Now we can just let the whole guild get salty of all the pools in the world. What do we get? Ooh, another Rue. Yes, please. Thank you. Does mines go in there? No, it doesn't tell you what people get through tickets, but it does tell you in here also what people get. All right, let's go in here and start summoning. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we need to go uh, check out the character's uh, abilities and stuff. That's what I want to see before I start summoning for her. You know, she probably could be tr trash and I'm over here trying to summon. Okay, so... What is Tristan? Okay, so Tristan is one of the other SSRs. So we now have a board also to where people are going to put useless comments on, trust me. Right now there are some... Eh, ones, <laughs> okay. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how these guys act. So we have one, two, three, four characters coming up next. Hold up, there could probably be some more. Nope, not from there. So yeah, we have four new characters coming sooner or later. We don't know when yet. She... Oh, she's an attacker. Okay. What's her... Oh, dark party units. So if I remember correctly, Ruby is wind. To where if you have a full team of winds, you get the bonus damage. And... What's her name? Yeah, there she is. And she's water, right? Well, hers doesn't go as high as everybody else's. Well, obviously, because dark is neutral to everything. Never mind. She looks pretty cool. I like her design. Yeah, I definitely like her design. What's her first skill? Oh, they finally put this in. Thankfully. Let's just always go up to max. Just show you guys how it progresses. Alright, she inflicts damage to two enemies and has a chance to inflict curse. Does additional It does additional damage for two turns. Sorry, I had to stretch. It happens. Alright, her second skill inflicts damage on one enemy. Brands for 30% for two turns. Has a chance of decreasing the target's turn speed, and then they gain immunity for it for two turns. Okay, that's not half bad. You can straight up just force people's turns down, especially if it's a unit that you definitely don't want attacking yet, or reviving yet. You can just be like, back down to the bottom. You go. But that's only if you have it six. Alright. Inflicts damage to all enemies. Has a good chance to inflict curse on two enemies. Huh. 
Okay, it only lasts for two turns. Maybe her passives are what make her shine. Has a 50% chance of increasing the user's attack for 10. If an ally skill applies a debuff, attacks up to five times. Okay, so 50% attack added on to the user at that point. So as long as people are applying debuffs, she gets stronger and stronger. That's not half bad. That's actually pretty decent. But then again, there are bosses that are immune to that also. So I also gotta keep that in mind. All right, she has a 60% chance to remove any debuff from her when attacked. Not half bad. Um, her level 60 talent, let's see. Does this make her shine? 100% chance of receiving Veil of Phantasm, which is pretty much a guarantee evasion at the start of each wave. All right, that's not that bad. You're actually evading one attack. Uh, sadly, it only lasts for one round. So if you put speed on Nyx, she, she might burn through her Phantasm. So I don't know if you want to put speed on her. If you are, you better make sure the other characters outspeed you, because once you attack, that's basically your turn over, and that's disappearing very quickly. But then again, you probably could still it could still be useful to have speed runes on her. Not sure though. It's gonna be interesting to see. Hey, I'm not done with that. All right, she also has a hundred percent chance to inflict damage equal up to eighty percent of the targets, and two. Enemies. What is when attacking it? Oh, okay. So whenever you hit an enemy that has cursed on it, it hits the enemies next to to that enemy you hit. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's not half bad. I might actually go for her because that's that's actually pretty decent. She's not the best in the world, but that is actually pretty decent. Where's the other guy? I'm looking for our little vampire friend. Because he was on the main page too. Is he not released yet or something? Or am I overlooking him? Is his advent dungeon not up? Hold on. I'm curious now. I must know. Look at that handsome face. Yeah, she looks pretty dope. I like him. Oh, we finally got this one. This dude we haven't gotten yet. We finally got him. Doesn't seem like his dungeon is up anymore. And the Britain dungeon is over, unfortunately. You guys have a few more days to do this. Okay, I apparently did not use my rewards on this. I still haven't gotten first at all. The highest one I got in this second place. Which is just my crappy luck. And nothing. Okay, cool. What ifs, game? What ifs? <laughs> oh, it seems like we got new event quests. What do we get from just 15? Hmm. Oh, apparently, we're going to get a whole bunch from all these other places. Eh. Pretty nice. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that would be 85, right? If that's how we're going with the math. Yeah, 85. So you guys need to do that if you want 85. Uh, crystals. Let me do this right quick. They will summon. We'll go back to Christian. We'll go back to Christian and look at his stuff in a few seconds. 
Alright, what could it be? Ah, nothing good. I'm gonna skip that. Maybe? Just maybe? What is our luck looking like today? Oh, there we go. What could it be? Another Rue. Jesus game. Alright, I'll guess I'll max out her skills then. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have her. Alright, I'll take a look at her. I was about to say, is there, there a chance of me getting another one? <laughs> I was going to get real greedy. But yeah, I'll definitely summon for her. Let me grab my rewards right quick. I want to take a quick look at her because I've never actually gotten her. I haven't even looked at her stuff. I'll take a quick glance at it. This character's to sleep. Spells falls asleep for one turn when defending. Restores your oh, restores your HP and your attack by increase your attack by eighty percent for three turns. Oh my God. Jesus! That's actually pretty nice. But I also kind of eh inside of PvP because all I can do is just avoid you. But then again, it says one turn, so. Well, PvP, your character won't sleep at all, so yeah, that's basically useless. Alright, what's her level 60 skill break time? Decreases the caster's cooldown by one turn. And the allies go down by one turn. 20% of all allies except the caster when defending. She's not half bad. But we're gonna go back to looking at Kristen. Alright, Kristen, what do you have? What what makes you so OP everybody's talking about? Uh crit tech. What's his Inflicts penetration off his. Excuse me, his. Uh -huh, he, okay, yeah. So he just gets penetration damage. Cool. All right, off his basic. Has a. Has a thirty-five percent chance to increase the caster's crit chance. Oh. I can see why you're dangerous off your basics. Inflicts penetration damage. Okay, so this guy's just pure penetration. This is this is gonna be hurtful inside of PvP. Like this dude's gonna ruin like a lot of defensive characters. Oh dear god. Alright, penetration damage on one enemy and the enemies beside him. Um has a 35% chance to force targets to reveal weakness for one turn. I still haven't I still haven't looked up what that means. I haven't seen reveal weakness like description. I'm gonna look at that in a few seconds after this. Penetration damage to 300%? Oh my god, yep. He's gonna be he has a chance to just straight up kill somebody off this. Penetration damage to one target. 100% chance to increase all of the target's cooldown by one turn and remove all of their buffs. <laughs> oh, oh dear god. Oh, this can increase it by two turns. So basically, fuck you in PvP is basically what I'm seeing here. What are his passives? They obviously can't be as worse. <laughs> be as bad as this, right? Inflicts additional damage for each buff applied to the caster. 
Oh my god, Lafia would be fantastic with this dude. Oh dear god, no, please. Has a chance to apply heal over time on the caster for two turns when launching a crit attack. What? Kristen is retarded. What what the hell, dude? What's his what's his freaking level 60 talent? 80% chance to decrease debuff durations of all light ally members by one. But it started to turn. Okay, that's not all that special. Rude can just take it off, so eh. 60% chance to grant the caster damage immunity when the caster is healed. Okay, yep. Yeah. Christian's retarded. I can see why people are saying he's OP. That is that is dumb. <laughs> oh my god, I I'm avoiding every team that has this dude in it. I'm not dealing with it. No, I think I'm good. His dungeon is probably annoying as hell too, considering considering where he is now. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I like his helmet. I kind of sad is gone in this one. He looks way better to me in his um, four and five star. Too bad you can't change his skin back there. But holy crap, this dude is gonna hurt like hell. Like no way. <laughs> but also, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I keep forgetting to, to like look at these. I don't know why. You know, I think about it. Christian should be inside of inside of this category right here. Not honorable at this point because, dear God, that man's insane. All right, I need to go see what reveal weakness is. First time actually remembering <laughs> that it does something. Um, where are you? Where is you at? Oh, wait. Skill effect, debuff, reveal weakness. Where are you? Oh! 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 Mm. Oh! Okay! Cool! Yeah! No! Totally fine, you know? Totally fine with that. Anywho. Um, guys, that's all I pretty much had the show well I hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys later I don't know where the vampire dude is uh, I don't think he's in the game yet I don't know why they teased him is he in the story or something I never really look at the patch notes for this game so I'm guessing he's not in the game yet <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it guys I'll see you guys on the next one I need to go question my life about this dude peace out I'll be farming crystals for Nyx and seeing if I can get her bye I need to go rethink my life swear it's gonna get better real soon don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view we're gonna make it soon just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose